How's it going, boys? Today we're playing Miracle Rogue. Oh yes, we finally finished this deck. And it is, no, not the best deck, but it is one hell of a thing to see in action. So, a Miracle Rogue is from Hearthstone, the rogue that pretty much uh, plays his whole entire deck in one turn. And then wins. We play our deck in one turn, and then win the next turn. That's kind of the idea. So let me exp so let's check out the cards. Land one land of our elf, one pelt collector, one druid of the call, one elvish el elf shame druid, four elvish cancellers, uh, one grow chamber guardian, one incubation druid, three songs of Freylas, one thorn latent, one district guide, one elvish rejuvenator, three martins the uh, possessed mothers, one steel leaf champion, four vivian champions of the wilds, three beast whispers. Four, uh, four growth chain, uh, chain, uh, guardian projects, excuse me, two wilderness reclamations, two mendings of dominari, of two vivian raids, and a bunch of lands. Three memorials, TNT, and three cons bastions. So let me explain how this works. Uh, we get we 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 get a beast whisper and a guardian project out, or one of the two. And then we have extremely easy to play creatures. Every creature draws us a, uh, draws us a card. We get Wilderness Reclamation. While Vivian Champion of the Wilds is out, which means we can double up the things we do. Essentially, we're drawing uh, all of our deck extremely fast. And then we're just proliferating to victory and whatnot. That is kind of the idea of this deck. That was probably the best explanation you have ever seen. Or heard, but that and it's fine. I know I'm an idiot, but it doesn't stop me from making decks like this. And hopefully we're gonna see is this in action. Okay, a bunch of lands. That is not actually bad because we have been cucked on lands a couple of times now. Okay. Oh great, red aggro deck. I am so proud to be alive. So yeah, considering this is considered an aggro deck by the system, we do play only against aggro decks and control decks. Because obviously. Yeah. So do expect that. By the way, this is not the best deck by even any stretch of the imagination. Kinda expected that one. Yeah, they always have the removal for the Thorn Lieutenant when you actually play against red decks. I don't really understand how or why, but they do. They do. Okay, so let's see what do we, uh, what's popping off next. Let's skewer the critics on that thing. That's actually really good. Okay, so let's let's drop the Marvin. Oh yes, Marvin the Nurturer. It's still with Bang though. Not gonna lie, I give her a lot of crap, but you know, still would, still would. Okay, so is he gonna sack the monkey? It would be smart. Yes, he's sacking the monkey, boys. What a champion. Okay, so hopefully he doesn't have a lightning strike to kill off this guy. But who am I kidding? He obviously does have something to kill off that guy. But at least he's gonna waste some removal on him. Okay, and we have Pelt Collector. I honestly don't know how this works. No, I actually do, but it's fine. So, Lava Coil. Okay, this is the most awkwardly well-prepared red deck against me I have ever played against in my entire life. Okay, so I'm gonna drop the Pelt Collector, obviously, and now I'm gonna drop this, which does actually nothing, really. Okay, so we do have a bunch of lands, which is kind of the point, uh, but the red deck with only two lands optionable is actually pretty much the dream. And why do I have a strange feeling he's just gonna shoot a lightning bolt or something like that to kill one of these? Oh, no, he's not. That's very interesting. Whoa. Okay, we actually are making progress in surviving. Oh, wait. What's that? Light up the stage? Oh, light up the stage and light up the stage. Oh, can you hear that? That's, that's the sound of actually not a single person alive being surprised. So, essentially, I'm dead. There's no way I survived this because of reasons. Ah, oh, red decks, everyone. Anyone who tries to tell you that a red deck is not literally the best deck in Magic is either lying to you, straight up, or is a complete idiot. Mathematically, red decks are impossible to beat. They will always come out on top. Because they do not have a single weakness. But, you know, whatever. Okay, can we actually pop this deck off? Oh, it's gonna be one more aggro deck, probably, or an extremely lucky control deck. 
Uh, this is not bad against the control deck, but let's see how much of an aggro or control deck this is, because we're not playing up against Jank or anything like that. The system understands. The system knows. Oh, it's a dinosaur deck again? What the hell, game? I'm tired of dinosaur decks. Please don't kill my incubation druid. I really like them. Okay, good. At least he has a slow start, which is extremely good, honestly. So, uh, with this, I consolidate my findings as victorious. Okay, okay, good. So next turn, we're playing the Mending of Dominaria because... <coughs> what? Okay, something, 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 whatever. We're still drawing more cards than you, so it's good. Oh, yeah, we're gonna draw a lot of cards, huh? Oh, Jesus, we're gonna draw a lot of cards. Oh, that's not even funny. No, actually, it's a little bit hilarious, but whatever. Okay, so next turn, Mending of Dominaria is gonna happen. We have the Elvish Cancellers. Chancellors, as I would call them, aka the you know uh, the good old. Excuse me, I have I have I have made a mistake in my uh, work report. Oh, what the hell? Oh, he actually killed him. Please buff. Wait, why isn't he buffing? Well, I guess it really does not truly matter. Okay, so this is the idea. Uh, yes, I'm gonna take this now. Well, he didn't kill it, so it's fine. Okay. So we still have a lot of things to survive with. Steel Leafs also are going to be in the graveyard, which is fa fantastic. For one turn, he's not doing anything. I guess that's good. I need to get as many lands in the graveyard. Stop! That's really annoying, I'm not going to lie. That's actually hilariously annoying. Okay, can we actually get enough things out? I'm gonna get- I'm gonna take this. I don't- don't even know why I was that smart. It probably was not smart. So, uh, drop this, and now we can play this more. A.K.A. The more we- the more things we actually put in the graveyard, the theoretically better things become for us also. We did not- OH! Jesus! What is he gonna do? Is he gonna hit the Mending of Dominaria? That would be really dumb. He should probably aim for the Guardian Project. Oh, jeez, he did not aim for the Guardian Project. I'm actually surprised. That is extremely questionable, though. So, I'm somehow playing all... Well, it's not exactly, uh, you know, the same deck, but, you know, it's, it's like, really questionable. Our deck is better in all uh, aspects of life, honestly. But, you know, it's still a bit tricky sometimes. So, we're gonna play this, right? Okay, we're playing that, we're putting... Well, at least we finally have something. Do I want to play this? Yes, I actually do, right? Because it's gonna get buffed. It's gonna draw us things. And the more we, by the way, draw here, the technically better it is for us. Because we want to sack as many lands to the graveyards as possible. Because that's gonna allow us to scale pretty big. Okay, so... A little bit more. Got the Vivians, got the everything, take action, and yeah, that's discard two cards, which means we are obviously discarding a forest and a memorial to Unity so we can actually ramp up next turn. And next turn we can play the Wilderness Reclamation, plus, where is it? Uh, Vivian. And that's a pretty big deal. And that's honestly really annoying! Who the fuck is this guy? Why is he playing a goddamn something deck? Okay, top. Really? You're gonna fight that of all things? I don't exactly understand what's the point of fighting that, but that's okay. Okay. His things are pretty big, by the way. Not gonna lie. Said, you know, me, I guess. Steel Leaf. A Steel Leaf champion will do finally. Okay, so we're gonna do this. Now we're gonna do this. Again, that's that's the whole that's the whole plan, Shabazzle boys. That's the whole plan, Shabazzle. Okay, and that's a bunch of okay. That's actually not bad. Still, a uh, bunch of lands. Good. I'm uh, gonna do the plus one for no reason on on this Ma Marvin right there. Are we attacking? Uh, no, not gonna attack just yet. Do that. Very good. 
And now let's drop a Steel Leaf Champion, because why not? Resolve, get a bunch of things in the graveyard. Uh, play this now. Again, we kind of are milling ourselves extremely, extremely profoundly, as you can see. But, well, you know, whatever. Okay, resolve, resolve, play it. Okay, so we still have a bunch of cards to draw. Look at that, five cards to this card. And I'm gonna play this. Yes, this is good. Okay. So obviously we have already outscaled him uh, him a lot when it just comes to purely, you know, doing stuff, I guess. Marvins, more Marvins, no one cares. And let's let's just drop this. As long as he can't kill that mending of Dominati, we are actually completely fine. Okay. So as you can see, playing the whole deck is not an exaggeration by any means when we're playing this deck. Pass. And obviously we want to get rid of every single land in our hand. Because lands are dangerous. Okay, we got rid of one creature also, but who cares. And because of the wilderness reclamations, if he does not kill this, we are in an extremely fine position, as one might say. A rekindled phoenix. Uh, no one cares. Go home. Okay. Next turn, this is gonna be amazing. The Rekindled Phoenix doesn't do too much. The Domri is annoying, but we're gonna be popping off Vivian Raid ulti very soon. And he can play all his things as much as he wants, but I am the one. I am the one who, well, does stuff, I guess. Yes, I am the one who does stuff. A, a little bit dangerous, by the way. Just, just want to point that one out. A little, this, this, this whole thing, Shabazzle, is a little bit dangerous, but it's fine. Honestly, it's G Jesus Christ. Actually, need del uh, more Elvish Cancellor power. Uh, yes, Martin, you can actually block the Phoenix. Good boy, Martin. Well, actually, she's a girl. But I, I have to say, Martin is a little bit yum 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 on the side. You know, you know what I mean? Okay. So we got that out. Okay, now we can do this. Bam. Now everything gives us mana. If you thought that uh, the things I already were, was doing were overkill, well, then you obviously have not exactly seen anything yet. Okay, do I want to kill any artifacts? No. But actually, I can just... Can I just... Oh, I think I can. Let's see. Uh... Oh yeah, I actually can. Okay, so this is the thing with uh, with that. I actually forgot that I played it. So everything can uh, tap mana currently. Also, Marvin can tap mana if anyone was wondering. So uh, this is this is literally called. That's the emblem. Pretty impressive. I know. I know. So yeah. The enemy is officially dead. I didn't even have to play him, by the way. So, uh, yeah. This is pretty intense. Attack. Well, this is what happens when the deck pops off. Pretty impressive, honestly. But it's inconsistent, a lot of the cases. I tried to make it as consistent as possible, aka this is the first deck that uses Song of the Thralice. But, you know, it's still not exactly completely 100% consistent. Even though you could argue that I could incorporate this strategy in my default elf deck and call it a day, and it would be pretty good. Because it would be pretty good. But yeah. Good game! You can't block this, it's impossible to block. Also, everyone has vigilance. And also, everyone's extremely buff. <laughs> oh, I love myself too much sometimes. But it's fine. It's naturally fine. So what is he gonna do? He's probably AFK because he understood what the fuck just happened. And he was thinking, oh, I'm ramping up so much. Rhythm of the Wild, Gruel Spellbreaker, Zukta Goblin, boop, 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 boop. I killed you, I, I killed you or something with an enchantment reliquary, blah, blah, blah. Oh, this guy is so angry. I honestly would be too. But this is why... God, I love myself too much when I make decks like this. You know, sometimes the decks are decent, sometimes the decks are garbage, pretty much every mono black deck that I have ever made in my life. 
But sometimes we can even make a monocolor color into something this spectacular. Oh yes. Oh yes, boys. Sometimes it does happen, sometimes it doesn't happen. Again, I'm gonna probably... Well, the expansion's coming out in like two days. So... Yeah, well, the expansion is coming out in one day when I actually upload this video. But yeah, uh, this guy is done. <clears throat> He's AFK. He's just AFK. He's pissed that Vivian raid happened in one turn. And that, you know, that this is my army. Admittedly, when you're playing up against an exile, uh, they, they that can exile with settle wreckage or whatever, then then things get do get a, a little bit of a bad turn. Uh, come on, just let me hit your face for, like, what is it? 28, 39, 46, 50, 60, uh, minus 40-something it's gonna be. Actually, a lot more. Jeez, oh, it didn't add this one. Okay. I thought it's gonna be minus 40, uh, 44, but I didn't add that one. And I mis mismanaged two damage, but it's fine. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, this is what this deck does. This is definitely what the deck does. Again, pretty interesting, pretty cool, pretty cool combo, not gonna lie. I'm pretty proud of myself for making this one again. So remember to like the video, because, yeah, I, it, 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 it did take me a couple of days to make this actually even remotely viable. The early versions were complete garbo, but these now versions are actually pretty decent. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? Are we gonna play the Rejuvenator? Ah, uh, it's a red deck! The only bad part is the game, like, literally thinks this is an aggro deck, so it puts us to... puts us against fucking red decks a lot. Because it thinks we're playing aggro. Uh, and if you're playing aggro, chances are you're gonna play against other aggro decks. Are you gonna light up the stage now? Of course you are. Why wouldn't you? Oh, look at that, the Chandra, Zilfram, Void. I don't understand why Red Dicks usually don't put more Zilfram Voids in, in. It's like, the, the worst case situation for them is... I'm gonna... Do I play the Marvin? Uh, well, it's gonna be a little bit better. Okay, so that's the play. And next turn we can Guardian Project. And from Guardian Project we should theoretically be capable of establishing a little bit of dominance. Again, it's a red deck, so we most likely lose. It's extremely hard to stabilize. The best we can do is drop uh, targets like Marvin and Elvish Canceller. that are very, very juicy to uh, be targeted by spells. And that's it. Yeah, there, there, there's the shock. We everyone expected it. He's probably gonna leave the Elvish Canceller now alone. Well, but to leave Britney alone is a pretty good slogan. Let's see, does he have, uh, more things? I'm, I'm, oh, he doesn't. Very interesting. Very interesting. Did not expect that. Okay, so, got the Guardian project. So, technically, if we do not die two turns, we can actually make it big time. Technically, we can. Technically, it's not gonna be the, uh, the hardest thing in the world. Technically, fuck off. Oh, well, yeah, that just happened. Well, again, it's like, what do you ex- what, 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 what honestly do you want to do? Win against a red deck? You're not gonna win against a red deck, most likely. Even though we are popping off pretty hard here, it seems like. Well, we're not exactly popping off pretty hard, it seems like, but, you know, close enough. We do have some things, and... Man, my whole fucking belly is sunburnt a little bit. But it's fine. Oh, great! If spell damage wasn't big enough, problem now a gutter sniper appears. Whoa! Yay! Oh! 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 Man! You're so manly, enemy kun. You're so good playing a red deck. Kill yourself. Oh! God! I wish they just, you know, tested the average IQ of a red deck player. I truly wish they just did that. It would be fine. Okay, uh, that's actually pretty good. Okay, do I... Yeah, I'm still gonna drop this, right? Yes, I still drop that. Okay, even with one guard, uh, Guardian project out, by the way, it's still pretty very easily. By the way, you could completely change this out and swap it into an elf deck, but where, where would be the fun in that, right? He has only two cards, but I have effectively only... I'm gonna guess five life. 
No, it's even less. I'm just dead. Okay, so uh, what a what what a what a great experience, boys! What a great experience playing up against the red deck. Uh, you, you gotta love it. Mwah. Absolutely, absolutely spectacular. Uh, make an aggro deck, play against other aggro decks. The only problem is your yours is not exactly an aggro deck, but an extremely, extremely convoluted jank deck. Which makes it a little bit less fun. Okay, this is actually decent, and we go first. So we have a turn 1 play, a turn 2 play, and then we have, uh... 4 mana that we can easily turn into a Vivian Arg- uh, It's an aggro Murfolk deck! Ah! Uh, and here I was almost happy about something. But wait. For every moment of happiness, there's a Murfolk deck. It's gonna ruin everything. Or oh, this is an aggro, uh, this is a tempo blue deck. It doesn't matter which one it is. Or it's a control, uh, uh, what's it called? Black blue deck. You don't really have too many options of what you're gonna play against when you play this deck, sadly. Well, that's pretty much whatever still. Okay, let's see. We drop this. We can drop the Vivian and then we can... Yeah, this is actually extremely good. We can drop the Vivian and we can do a lot of things. Is it me or does he not have lands? Obviously only a J Savatar would have the lowest of IQs to magically keep a hand with only two lands. I understand being a, com a complete sense self uh, self-centered egomaniac idiot. KILL YOURSELF! Of all the cards you could possibly have, playable, Here's a spell pierce. Of course. Oh wait, this is... What is this? <laughs> ah, that's hilariously sad. Okay. So, one more mana and we can play the Guardian Project and essentially uh, ludicrous amounts of mana are achievable. But it seems like we're gonna do this and find a... Uh, well, Elvish Cancellers are pretty good, I heard. Okay, so that's the play, it seems like. Please, Aman, so I can just do the Guardian Project. Well, the Guardian Project's not gonna do a lot for us, honestly, at this point. But there is a chance for that last dance, boy, yeah, shake that ass. Okay, that's a problem. Actually, it's not that big of a problem. Well, actually, it is that big of a problem. So, do you think he has a single... Oh, he's going for the Vivian also. I think he's buying time. Okay, let, okay let's see. Does any card light up? Actually, let's do it like this. Okay. I don't see any cards lighting up, so he may not actually have a spell. He could have shock, and obviously I'm screwed. But it doesn't look like it. Okay, he has... What the fuck is that? Sam Samut Sprint. Even better, boys. Even better. Exquisite. Okay, so... Guardian Project time. Okay, minus two. Because reasons. And let's see. A Beast Whisperer. Ecstatic. <clears throat> Okay, so this at least gives us a lot of draw power, and this guy is not exactly the most aggro of aggro decks, so we do have a chance, which is great. What the hell is this? You cast the Dawn Creature spell gets 1-0, one, one okay. I've seen better- okay, that's a monkey. Okay, let's see, do we actually do- no, we still do this, and see what happens. Ah, uh, that's not great. That's not exactly great. Game? I need lands. I'm not sure if you understand the concept of, you know, need on the or whatnot, but I can't possibly be seeing myself losing to a Sky Treader Strix and a, you know, a, a Rigging Runner. Oh my god, are you actually kidding me? This is the most stupidest deck I have ever seen in my life, but it's working. Actually, it doesn't honestly seem that bad, by the way. Well, we, we got completely, man. Uh, well, we got... Oh, God! We're... 
Game, please. I don't I don't need this many Vivian raids. I told you I don't need this many Vivian raids. Ugh. Okay, okay. We're gonna drop a Marvin. And it's gonna be amazing. Oh wait, we're dead. Are we actually just dead? Well no, not exactly, but close enough. Honestly, there's a very low chance that this does not just magically, obviously, kill me. Okay, so, uh, we have two life, and he has shocks and things in his hand. Uh, great. I don't exactly have a counter to things that, you know, hit me real good, real fast. Okay, play the Marvin. There's no way we win, it's just red deck aggro galore. If you're gonna play this, you're gonna be facing so many aggro things because the game thinks you're playing aggro. I guess it's fine, though. Okay, and it's giving us literally the worst draws we can possibly magically manage. And we can't kill this thing on top, and it's gonna kill us. He doesn't even need to f well, why, why are we even wasting time? He just needs to find anything and we're dead. Well, that sometimes happens. But again, it's like, if you're gonna be playing this deck, you should be very prepared to play against aggro, because, well, that's just what's gonna honestly happen. Well, it's fine, though. A little bit fine. Man, front side is really a little bit too crispy. That should be fine. Okay, this is exactly the lands I did not ever want to see. But it's fine, at least it's lands in the Guardian project. Oh, look at that, it's a Sarkon avatar. As Bob. I'm not even surprised about the po poetic justice name he has. Oh, look at that! It's a red aggro deck. Did any, did any, did anyone still be surprised, boy? I personally am not. I'm not going to be establishing any dominance here. Hey, look, at least he's trying to be original or whatnot. At least he's trying to be original. Like, give this man some credit. He's trying to be original. He put, he put now black in his aggro deck. How, 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 how noble. How noble. Oh, look at that. It's a Tybalt. How noble. He's even playing a Tybalt. <clears throat> Man, he must be the, the leader that we all seek and desire. It's fine. If he stops that, yes, he's gonna kill the Chancellor, but honestly, who gives a shit at this moment in time? I just don't want Tybalt. Well, actually, I don't care. It's not like we can gain life, but... It's it's not it's not like I understand the uh, the concept of uh, actions have consequences or anything. Okay, and considering this is happening, uh, I can honestly just do nothing for this time period and be fine. That's two Guardian projects. We are popping off real big. Okay, so that's that. Also, there is a good chance yes, that we get a land. Ex exquisite, exquisite. Okay, do we want to do that, or do we want to start off with this? I think we want to start off with this, right? And we're gonna find a creature feature. Uh, this is actually kind of good. Okay. Oh, it's actually not good, because we already- Ah! It's a mosquito! Where the fuck do they get in? From? Wait, what did he do? Oh, he used the devil. Okay, uh, cool. Bra. Very cool. Okay, uh, that's part of the combo wombo, so that's good. Okay, that's that's a lot of more things. Actually, should have probably played the Vivian raid, but honestly, who cares at this point? Okay, do that. Do I want to attack the Tybalt? Yes, I'm going to attack the Tybalt, because he... I have nightmares about him, but I usually you know, do naughty things with Tybalt, but it's fine. So is he going to kill the... Uh, this guy. Yes, he does. Ah, Bob, you spiteful, you spiteful she-devil. Well, okay, it's absolutely... Oh, it's a boar god. Oh, scary. Okay, you know what's not exactly scary? Well, it wouldn't be scary, but, you know, we, we don't exactly have it, so maybe it's a little bit scary. Okay, let's just do this and see what happens. A land. Honestly, not exactly what I was kind of hoping for, but it's fine. Okay, we just do this, and then we pretty much again drop everything that we would ever dream about. Okay, finally got the right card, and now we just drop this. 
And remember, everything can, you know, create everything, so it's absolutely fine. Makes sense, even. Okay, so, as long as we got a mending of Dominati and we discard enough things, I honestly think we're fine. Okay, we're gonna get discard four lands, which is epic. Okay, four lands in the discard bin, and after uh, mending of Dominati plus a Wilderness Reclamation, yeah, that's pretty good. And, you know, is he gonna actually... Yes, he is, the absolute Chad. Boys, we have an absolute Chad on our hands. What the fuck is this? Okay, do we actually want to kill the absolute Chad? You know what? I, I have a feeling I honestly do, because without that, he does not really have anything else. Also, I feel like my mana pull is for self, my life pull for some reason is a little bit threatened here. But that's fine. Honestly, you know what? We could have done better. But I have a strange feeling he could potentially have removal. So I'm extremely fearful about life and whatnot, you see? Okay, you can put the pig god back in the deck. No one cares. By the way, you have 55 cards for some reason. And yeah, that was also kind of expected. But that's good, because that means he's not kill... Uh, he does not use anything to kill that thing. Which is, again, really good. Okay. Everything got buffed, that's fine. So we're gonna be playing this. And now we're gonna be playing this. Oh yes, now everything is everything again. We're gonna be playing it like this. Very good, very good. A lot of things in, in, in the bin. Let's see, are we gonna... Yeah, whatever. I actually did not even know if I'm gonna do that. Honestly, we should, by the way, attack him. But that is definitely not the, the correct choice of action. So it's fine. Oh yeah, the more the more things we put in the graveyard, the honestly better it is. So that's cool. Okay. So can I actually? Oh, I did not get the proliferation. Okay, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Boom. Yeah, let, let, let's just get let's just get a cracking. Okay, what do we want from the graveyard? Probably an elvish canceler. Okay, that's fine. Uh, tip top tap blah 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 and three lands go to the graveyard as you can see when this combo starts to happen it happens pretty rapidly but again you kind of need to survive until that point and red decks are notoriously good at not letting you survive until the things are about to happen okay do we have the right vivian we do not even have the right vivian jesus christ sound magically how we do not have Ah, it's a Tybalt. It's just one more Tybalt. It's fine. Okay. He just surrendered. That's good. As long as it's not a pure red deck, we have a chance, boys. We have a chance. But it's a little bit frustrating playing up against those red decks constantly. But it's fine, because we have four packs to open. What are we gonna get, boys? Is it gonna be gems? Is it gonna be gems again? Oh my god, is it going to be gems again? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, it's a wild card. Oh, it's a pig board god. Nice. That's actually useful. Is it going to be gems again, though? Ah, it's gems. Who would have thought? But anyway, this is the Miracle Rogue deck. It's pretty goddamn good. It's pretty... Well, it's not good. Well, it could be potentially made better. But that would imply that we're getting rid of a Guardian project, and that's just heresy in my opinion. Well, actually not, but you kind of get the point. Anyway, this was Quizzer Sensen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my channel, check out the Discord, check out the Patreon. Leave a like, leave a comment, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.